Yo, what's up guys? So today in this video, we're finally going to be doing another nothing to something. So at this point, it's been over a month since the last one. And I know you guys have been wanting to see the series a lot. So I'm happy to bring it back. In this first episode, we're going to be starting off with 1400 Robux. If you guys didn't know, basically what I did is I did a series where I went from zero to 1000 Robux and we were able to finish with 1400 so if you guys want to watch that it's basically like the introduction to the nothing to something series i'll link it down in the description below i'm going to be starting a challenge where i'm going to try to go from zero robux all the way up to 1000 robux so i'm going to start out by trying to make some clothes i'm going to try to make some games and do other things to try to make robux without actually spending any and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get some snipes on Rollymons. So as you guys can see, I have 1,462 Robux, which is exactly how much I got in that zero to 1,000 challenge. So I'm gonna start off by trying to get deals on Rollymons. I hope I can get a projected, but if I can't, then I'll just get a regular item. But a projected is ideally what I wanna get. So unfortunately, I actually missed the clip, but I was able to get this Katana traveling pack for 1,000 Robux. So I'll show you guys that real quick. You can see that I bought it for 1,000 right here. So that was a pretty good deal. And this is a decent item to start off with. And on top of that, I still have 462 Robux that I can trade with. So I think this series should start out pretty well. So the first thing I'm gonna need to do right now is I'm gonna need to get premium. So I'm gonna get that and then we're gonna start trading right away. And with premium, I actually get a little bit more Robux. So I can use that towards the series as well. So we'll have about 900 Robux and we have a value of 1,303 Robux. So I'm gonna go into Trade Hangout and I'm gonna start making some trades. While I'm at Trade Hangout, I'm actually gonna send a few trades out on Rollymons. And the way that I do this is I look at the value of my item. And since my item is valued at 1,300 Robux, I'm gonna go to the item catalog and I'm going to look for items that have about the same amount of wrap, just a little bit more, and try to get some small wins. So I'm going to go for 1,450, and I'm going to mass send trades to owners of these items that are around the same value. So I'm going to do that real quick. Then I'm going to go into Trade Hangout and hopefully make some trades there. All right, so real quick, I'm just going to show you guys how I do this. So this is the item that I'm going to send for, the Nubatak Gold Sword Gladiator. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, and I'm going to look for premium copies, and I'm gonna look for people who just recently owned the item from five hours ago. And I'm gonna send to all of these owners and hopefully I get a trade completed. It's gonna send, just mass send, and eventually someone should accept. All right, so I just sent a bunch of trades out to a bunch of different people. So now I'm at Trade Hangout and I'm gonna see if I could hopefully complete a trade here as well. So I just found someone with the White Ninja headband. So I'm gonna see if I could trade for it. So they said I could send, so hopefully they'll accept. I'm gonna try my best not to use the Robux. I have a total of 912 Robux. So hopefully I can keep that and try to use it later rather than now. We just completed the first trade. So now I have the White Ninja headband. So we gained about 57 wrap. So hopefully I can try to make a few more trades and get even more wrap. I feel like a little bit of the problem is that there's going to be a lot of people who recognize me so I'm going to try my best not to get any donations or get people who are fans to trade with me so I'm going to try my best not to. I'm going to send this guy a trade for his shooting star and I'm going to add a bunch of robux. I'm going to add 155 robux and hopefully he takes that. Okay so it looks like we just completed a trade for the shooting star 2014 so now we have about 1600 wrap and this item is actually selling pretty well so if I could sell it, that would be a really good deal, but I don't know if I'll be able to. So I'm gonna send for this projected snake pack. Even though it's projected, I'm still willing to give my item for it because I could probably get a little bit of profit off of it. I was just able to complete this trade, the shooting star 2014 for the snake pack. So I gained about 400 wrap on this trade, but the snake pack is actually projected. So I'm gonna see if I could try to flip it and make some profit off of it. Okay, so I was able to trade the snake pack for these retro pattern shades. They're about 1,859, but that's definitely a big step up from the shooting star so we're already pretty far on our way okay so i found this person with a lot of items around the same value i'm trying to get so i'm going to send them a trade and hopefully we can get something done so i'm going to send my shades probably for the tick explosion and i'll add some robux and i think that would be a decent trade so i'm just going to send that okay so they countered with this trade i'm going to check if this item is projected it is a little bit projected so i'm not sure what i'm going to do if i should accept or not i feel like i could probably flip it and get a decent amount for it but 
I'm gonna see if I can do it without the Robux. Yeah, so I'm gonna counter without the Robux and I'll make them add a little bit of Robux since it is a little bit projected. Okay, so I was able to complete this trade for the gold Tetromino. They added 30 Robux, so I think it was a good trade. Now we have 2,200 and hopefully I can flip this for at least 2,000. I just sent this trade for gold Tetromino, 125 Robux per Nubisist and Cuddly Koala. So hopefully we can get this one completed. Okay, so this guy just accepted. So we finally got rid of the gold Tetromino. You guys don't even understand how long it took me. I sent out so many trades. I got so many trades declined. So I'm just happy that we finally got rid of it. And now we have two items and we still have a decent amount of Robux. Okay, so I just was able to complete this trade. It was the Nubisist and the Cuddly Koala. Plus I added some Robux for the Sinister Branches. I thought it was a pretty good trade. I got a pretty good demand item here and I was able to get an upgrade. I think I'm gonna try to downgrade the Sinister Branches and maybe get some better items. Or maybe I could try to do a one for one and get a better item. So I'm gonna send my Sinister Branches for the Teenage Monster, which is a projected. So I think trying to get a projected is actually what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna keep looking for projected and hopefully I can find somebody with one. Okay, so this guy actually completed my trade. So now I have the Teenage Monster. I took a pretty big risk on this one, but hopefully I can get an item worth at least 3k, maybe even 4k if I try hard enough. I'm gonna try my best to get rid of this item and get a better item. Okay, so I was just able to flip the projected. So I traded it to this guy and I was able to get the Cuddly Koala, Pumpkin Pie Phones, Take a Chance, and this egg right here. So I got 4.8k, so that was a really good trade. And if you remember, we only gave Sinister for it, so that was a 2.3k profit right there. All right, so I just walked up to get this guy at Trade Hangout, and he said he's going to send a 200 op, so I'm going to see what he sends. So this is what he sent. It was a 200 overpay for the Vanishing Ninja Star. It is selling under wrap, but maybe I can get a decent trade on it. I'll see if he can add some Robux or something. I countered with this and he decided to accept it. I won about 300 on this trade. This item is a little bit projected, so I need to get rid of it real quick. This is another risky trade, but I think it was a good risk to take. So hopefully I could try to flip this item now. I just want to say real quick shout out to this guy. He sent me a really good trade, I sent 5k for 1.3k. But I'm not going to take it because obviously this is a donation and I want to keep the series without donations. But shout out to this guy. Thank you so much for sending this one. So this guy right here just sent me a trade. This is the trade right here. It's actually a really good trade. The only problem is this noob attack is glitched. So it shows it's selling for two Robux. So I don't really want it. So instead, I'm just going to counter the trade and hopefully I can get a different item. This is what I'll send. I'll send the Ninja Star, the Ivory, the Chill Cap and 50 Robux. Hopefully he takes that. So this is what he countered with. He sent the Ninja Star. For the ivory chill cap and i guess a little bit less robux so i'm just gonna accept this one it's still a good trade and i'm still getting rid of the ninja star so i'm happy to do that this guy just offered for his black iron commando so i just told him to send and hopefully we can make a trade what he offered seems pretty good so i'll probably accept if he sends what he said he would all right so i was just able to complete this trade for black iron commando the guy sent what he said he was gonna send so i just accepted right away i only had to give two robux so it was a really good trade for me i only overpaid like 30 and i got a much better item that i'm probably going to be able to get a good overpay on so i got this trade inbound so i'm just going to accept it it's a really good trade actually i'm winning a lot it's a pretty big item so i do need to downgrade it pretty quickly so hopefully i can do that this guy in trade hangout just walked up to me and said he wanted my blue chrome shade so i'm going to send him a trade and hopefully we can get something done this is what he sent i might try to get a little bit more but it is a pretty good offer so this is what i'm going to counter with i'm going to counter the blue chrome shades and 115 robux for blue starry and the rusty chrome shades both these items are selling pretty good so i think i'm just gonna send this so we countered back with his original offer and added some robux i guess i'm just gonna take it it's still a good offer yeah i'm just gonna accept at least we downgraded the blue chrome shades and we got some better demand items so this guy at trade hangout just walked up to me and asked me for a trade so i'm gonna see what he sends we sent a pretty bad trade so i'm gonna counter it maybe i can get a better trade this is what i'm gonna send instead it's gonna be the blue starry site for the moon nubisist and katana so i'm winning about 170 on this trade they ended up accepting the trade so i gave blue starry for 212 robux after tax for the moon nubisist and katana and again i won like 170 180 on this trade so it was a really good trade so i just got this trade inbound for absolutely shocked i think i'm gonna take it i'm winning wrap and it's a pretty good item i'm gonna accept and that's a 70 wrap win right there so i'm gonna see if now i could try to either downgrade the absolutely shocked or get a projected for some of my other items so anyway i think that's gonna end it off for now we completed a lot of different trades and i'm satisfied with how much value we were able to get starting at only 1400 so as of right now we have 7095 value 
these are the three items that I have. The Absolutely Shock, the Moon, and the Katana Traveling Pack. Earlier today, I started with only the Katana Traveling Pack, and we've already made it up to 7k. I also have another 150 Robux. So that means in total, we're at 7,245. We're doing really good so far. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so you guys leaving a like and subscribing will really help us get there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.